Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to the bathroom. Today I'm getting ready. Dan and I are going on a little celebratory date night. Our moving woes are not done yet. If you missed our last vlog, we caught you up on the whole updated moving fiasco, but we are still here waiting for our things to arrive to allow us to settle in finally to our new home. But we thought that since we're back in BC, <laughs> The restrictions are much more open here. We thought we'd just go have a little date night downtown in Vancouver and celebrate a little bit because um, it's been a pretty stressful couple of weeks and we wanted to have a nice little night out. So I'm going to be dealing with my Mount Vesuvius here. I tried to pop that. It was a mountain. It actually looked like I had a bruised like golf ball because it was so massive on my head. So I popped it. It's still a little bit sore, but we're gonna be covering that. We're gonna be making ourselves a little bit more fabulous. Do a little date night, get ready with me. I'm wearing this dress from Everlane. They actually sent over some of their new summer pieces. Thank goodness, because most of my things are packed on a moving truck. So Everlane, shout out to you. Thanks for the for this lovely little summer dress. Look at the back on this thing. Can you see? It's so cute. We might do our hair. I'm kind of running out of time. Like, I forget how much time we have to now factor in to drive downtown Vancouver to get there in time for a reservation. So I actually don't have a lot of time. This is gonna be pretty speedy. I also don't have any chairs or anything. So this is like an awkward little setup. My makeup is here, windows there, mirrors there. We're gonna do our best today, guys, okay? A little impromptu. I'm gonna start out with my little mini travel size of my Wellita skin food. Oh, it has a little pokey thing, how fun. Okay, I'm just gonna put that right into the center. Center of my face around my mouth. It's just such a nice base. It's such a nice base for makeup. I've been saying it in like every video I film, but I feel like I've been coming to appreciate it more and more and more as time goes on. I just like, look at the glow it gives. It's honestly so ridiculous. I'm also gonna use the Iconic London Champagne Glow Radiance Booster. I've taken a little squeeze here and I'm just gonna really like rub that out into my hands and then press it onto the skin and it'll give just the most fabulous glow. Fabulous glow to the skin. I'm gonna take it down my neck too. Oh my God, this is so sore. <laughs> and just really rub that, rub that in. I gave my face a fresh shave yesterday, so hopefully no mustache hairs or beard hairs will be attacking you from the screen. <laughs> so we are going on a little special dinner date, so I want to have a little bit more coverage than my go-to summer skin that I've been doing lately. I want a little bit of love under my eyes. This is the NARS concealer. I actually woke up at 5 a.m. this morning. It was so weird. I have no idea why. Maybe it's because we've been having such good sleeps on our new mattress that my body is like not used to feeling so refreshed and recovered when I wake up. So maybe that's why I woke up so early. <laughs> but anyway, I woke up at five, I went to F45. It was amazing. And, um, and I haven't napped. Whoa, give me a gold medal guys. But honestly, like the bags are real because it's nearing late afternoon and this gal has been up since 5 a.m. and I will absolutely be ready for bed at 9 p.m. tonight, but it feels so good. Oh, it just, first of all, this little under eye con concealer corrector, what? Radiant creamy color corrector. The new NARS under eye corrector is really great. Really, really great, honestly. And so hydrating under the eyes, it's nice. Yeah, I can't express to you how delightful it has been coming from Toronto, coming from a forever state of lockdown to Vancouver, where it's just like, Gyms are open. I can go to F45. I nearly cried. I nearly cried my first class back coming back and I just it's been so great I want to take full advantage of it Like I'd like to remember this feeling forever like never ever taking working out and moving your body in a public space for granted again Classes like there's nothing that motivates me more than being in a workout class with other people and not having to rely on myself for workouts like it just Ah, oh, Toronto gyms have been closed since November. So it felt so good to be back. It's been so good. Oh, I went, to, I went to the movies, you guys. Okay, I'm gonna get sidetracked here. I'm gonna use some Makeup Forever self-setting concealer. And I just have my beauty blender on hand here just to do some concealing. I might go in with more after and spot conceal these big bad boys, but we'll see how much we can do with just applying it itself. Uh, yeah, the movie theaters are open. Haven't been to a movie. I didn't 
No, movies never open back up in Toronto. We went to the Toronto Film Festival. We saw a little viewing in there, but I hadn't been to the movies since pre-COVID. It was so crazy to be back. I went with my mom and my little sisters and we went and saw Cruella and it was amazing. What an incredible movie, first of all. <laughs> and then secondly, just being back at the movie theater was like, it just felt really, really extra special. Honestly, it was so good. Oh, I guess first my little sisters made me go see The Conjuring. So I've been to two movies since I've been back in BC. Went and saw The Conjuring against my will. It was actually, you know what, for a scary movie, it had a pretty great storyline. I'm not gonna lie, but I just absolutely hide my face for all of the scary parts. I can't, I can't watch scary stuff. I can't do it. Jump scenes, mm -mm. I cover my face. You know when they're coming and I cover my eyes every single time. Anyway, The Conjuring. <laughs> Saw the country, but Cruella, wow, 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 wow. Normally I don't like all of these like real life remakes and things, but I mean, Emma Stone and Emma Thompson, like it was amazing. I truly think that anybody would enjoy Cruella. It was really funny. Like I was laughing out loud the entire time. The fashion in it was fabulous. Oh yeah, really good movie. I would actually happily go watch that again in theaters. So that was a blast. Really want to see A Quiet Place too. And yeah, it's just been a just been a lovely hoot. Seeing the fam, seeing friends, seeing movies, <laughs> and going to work out. It feels almost, almost like completely normal life. I just, yeah. Wow. This base is looking absolutely delightful. Look at that skin. I think I'm, I think I'm happy with how much coverage is on. I can still see a little bit of redness, but it's also a giant lump, so I don't really mind. I think the skin. Yeah, it looks really nice. I'm happy with it. I'm gonna switch gears and do my brows now. I'm just gonna really quickly do my same rotation of product. I'm gonna magically snap and we'll have brows. The brows are big today. Today was a big brow day. Wow, wow, wow. We'll just have to add some bronzer to even it out. Okay, speaking of bronzer. New e.l.f. Putty Bronzers. I'm so excited. I saw these come out. I was dying to try it. $6 could potentially be a dupe for any cream bronzer on the market. Tiny, tiny little packaging. Let me show you next to the NARS bronzer. Look at how itty bitty it is. So cute, so small. I have two shades here, Tan Lines and Bronzed Bell. I'm gonna start with Tan Lines because it's the lighter one of the two. Tan Lines right here. And let's give it a go, guys, the new e.l.f. Body bronzer. So I'm taking my Smith 157 brush. I'm gonna dip it in. Actually, let me, let me touch that first. Yeah, it looks really sheer. It looks really sheer. So we could potentially use the deeper one, but let's start with this and see how we go. Oh my God. It's so creamy already. Look at that. So easy, easy, easy to blend out. Oh my God, it's beautiful. What a beautiful color. I love this. I was thinking I might have to use the deeper one just to kind of get the, the nice deep bronze that I love to do on my face, but this color tan lines is actually such a perfect match. It's so sheer, yet has great pigment. Wow, well done, Elf. This is gorgeous. Look at that. <gasps> Stunning. Elf. Stunning. One final new product. I actually picked this up at Sephora the other day. Uh, a lot of you were requesting that I tried it actually. It's the Freck Beauty, the brand that makes the little mini freckle, freck product. And I saw they came out with this cheek slime. It's a liquid blush. The packaging reminds me of the Bite Beauty one. It's like this little squeeze bottle, a little cheek slime here. Kind of looks like a lawn gnome. <laughs> Anyway, let's give it a go. This is the shade Fielding. I just wanna see, oh, 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 oh my God. I thought this was gonna be like a, a brownie nude, but it's like pretty orange, actually. Like a deep bronzed orange, very pigmented. I mean, I try to really lightly blend that into my cheeks. Really, really pretty. Very nice and sheer as well, but feels like I can really build up the color here. It's like that really, really deep, true terracotta bronzy orange. It's not like a bright orange orange, you know? It's like a true deep tanned sunburn. What a beautiful color. I've never tried anything from Freck Beauty, so I was excited to pick that up and give it a go. What do you guys think? I think the color goes really nicely with this dress too. Let's put some on our lips just to sit there and give it some pigment while I do the rest of the makeup.
Okay, now I desperately need some powder. I have the little travel size Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder. Dan said I said the name wrong the other day. Anyway, I bought the travel sized one of this. Love it, so cute. And normally I wouldn't powder so heavily, but I'm actually just like really boiling and sweaty and we're going to an air conditioned place. So I do just wanna make sure that my makeup stays on while we are at dinner. So I'm being quite liberal with my powder right now. Just in the center of my face and then around my mouth here, this is the Refer 19 brush. So you can see it just kind of took that shine away, but we still have a nice glow and hopefully our makeup will not budge for the evening. I'm gonna use another bronzer. This is the new Vive Modern Bronzer Bronzing Duos. This is in the shade Medium. I was so excited. I was sad because I actually got this in PR like right before we moved and we had already like filmed all our videos. So I've been saving it. I haven't even dipped into this, but I've been so excited. This is from Vive, Jamie Genevieve's brand. It's such a gorgeous launch, gorgeous packaging, beautiful bronzing duo here and I'm so excited to dip in and play. I wanted to be a little bit more flawless with my makeup today, but I'm still just gonna do a very light, natural makeup, like especially when it comes to the eyes. So I'm just taking, I just mixed both of the shades actually onto my eyeshadow brush here and I'm just gonna blend that into my crease to give my crease a little bit of definition, warm it up, it's such a nice color. This is the first time I've put makeup on my eyes in, like since before we moved. <laughs> Feels like it's been so long, my word. Usually I'd go over with like a shimmery, extra glowy bronzer on top of like a matte contouring cream bronzer. But I actually feel like because this shade in particular is so much deeper than the e.l.f. bronzer I use, that it'll just add really nice depth to our bronzed summery look. And the entire time I'm just mixing the two together. I'm not using one side or another. You could totally do that, but I'm just mixing the two. This is a really, really nice, nice bronze. It's blending in so beautifully. Okay, let's get some lip action in here. I'm gonna take the KKW Beauty Nude 1.5 liner. I saw the announcement of the rebrand of KKW Beauty, assuming that she's dropping the West from her name, but I'm so curious to see what they're doing with the new packaging and the rebrand. I'm not gonna lie, I don't use many products from the brand, but 12 bucks, 12 US dollars for this lip liner and it's one of my favorites and I love the shade and I've used it so much. So I'm curious to see what they'll be doing and hopefully they'll be keeping <laughs> this shade so I can continue using it. But yeah, really excited, really excited and curious to see what they're gonna do with the rebrand there, so. For mascara, I'm gonna use my Pat McGrath Labs Dark Star Mascara. I'm just gonna put a tiny bit, tiny, tiny bit. I'm not gonna do like my full upper and lower lash mascara thing, just cause I am pretty warm and pretty sweaty. And I'm gonna try to avoid any raccooning at all costs. So I'm not gonna tempt fate and put any mascara on my lower lashes for today. I just love that mascara so much. Okay, for the lip, I haven't actually tried this yet. I bought this, I think it was Victoria in the fro who was using these. I think she did like an Instagram thing with Dior. I can't remember, but I did buy this after seeing it. It's the Dior Rouge Forever Liquid Shade 100. I picked this up after because I was like, ooh, those look gorgeous. And I, oh yeah, that's nice. I don't actually have a red lip with me. Oh my God, I didn't pack one. It's all in the moving. That was such a mistake. I need a red lip. You know what? I might have to actually go pick some up because I need some bright lips in my day, but I did pick this one up. What a stunning formula. It's so thin. That is so nice. Maybe I'll get a red in this formula. Yeah, that's beautiful. Beautiful. Okay, for highlight, I'm going to dip into my little Beachy Nudes kit here, my nude sticks. Beachy News, and I'm gonna use the mini Hey Honey in here. I'm just gonna take that with my finger and finish off with some highlight. I honestly feel like we're so glowy, but it never hurts to finish off with a little bit of glow on the cheeks. I'm gonna absolutely take some of my Benefit Professional setting spray and just like bathe in this because I need my makeup to last all evening. Just kidding, only till 9 p.m. when I plan on going to bed. <laughs> All right, so that's the makeup done, you guys. I was gonna do my waves, my little beachy, crimpy waves, but I think I'll just leave it natural. Yeah, I was gonna do my 
little Amica curls. I had just plugged this in, but if you want to see how I do those waves, I will link to the full video where I talk through it below, but I think I'll just leave my hair natural for tonight actually. So then I'm going to don my jewels. I got these really cute little earrings from a local brand called Squig. She was so cute. She sent this beautiful package. So gorgeous. The texture on these are amazing. How cute are they? Oh, I just love them. I'm absolutely going to link these below for you guys. And then these are my little Majuri hoops, which are always linked on my Majuri landing page. It's always in the description box, but oh my God, those are so nice. Oh, I'm going to spritz my fragrance. I have the little minis of my Tom Ford ombre leather and my replica by the fireplace. Like no matter what. I always mix these two together and it just smells so good. Winter or summer. It's just warm, leathery, yet sweet. And that's it, you guys. This is the finished look, ready for a little date night. So thank you so much for getting ready with me, everyone. I hope you enjoyed this makeup look and everything I used on my face today, everything I'm wearing, all of it will be linked and written in the description box down below for your viewing and or shopping pleasure. Thanks so much for watching. Thanks for getting ready with me tonight, you guys. And I'll see you all very soon for a new video. Bye!